What's going on guys? P. Will back here for another video. In this video we're talking about why basic training really doesn't matter. So for this video I've come up with five reasons why basic training really doesn't matter, why you shouldn't worry about it, and why you should focus your attention on other things. And yes, basic training is important, but it's, it's not you know, the end all be all of the military. And we're gonna get into these five topics, these five reasons why basic training does not matter. All right, so all you future soldiers, future uh, service members, this really covers all branches. But since I'm in the US Army, we're talking about basic training. Number one reason why basic training does not matter is because it's not hard. Now basic training, yes, it does suck. It sucks very bad but it is not hard. Uh, there's not gonna be any task or anything that they tell you in basic training that you're not gonna be able to accomplish. Um, and at the very least, if you can't accomplish it with you, yourself and your battle buddies, you will be able to accomplish it. Um, there are gonna be times that it sucks very bad, but it's not hard. Uh, the worst part is going to be dealing with like cold weather or hot weather or dealing with the people around you and being away from home but any obstacle or task or pt test or anything you're going to be asked to do you can do it they're going to prepare you they're going to give you the study material the reference material and it's on you to execute but it's not hard and uh, you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. All right, reason number two why basic training does not matter is it's just a small part of your army career. So let's say you sign a four year contract. That's four years. There's 52 weeks in one year and you've got to do that four times. Basic training is just 10 weeks. Think about how small and insignificant that is. When you're at basic training, you're gonna think that this is the army. This is all I'm going to be doing for the next four years of my life. This is, you know, this is the end of the world. I'm in basic training. This is never going to end. And while, you, while you're there, it feels like it goes on forever. It also feels like it goes by very fast, but while you're there, you think, I'm never gonna get out of here, this sucks. But once it's over, you're like, dang, that, that was so fast. And then you realize, I've still got four more years of this like it, it is literally no time at all it's less than like a high school football season it's less th it's like the same as a school semester basically in high school a nine-week semester you're there for a semester it's insignificant it doesn't matter um the time and in the grand scheme of life of your army life even if it's four years it's so short 10 weeks it doesn't matter now this Number three is kind of controversial, uh, and I'll delve into it a little bit, but tip number three, or reason number three is, uh, it doesn't have repercussions. Now, that's not saying that you can do whatever you want, but in the grand scheme of like any counselings you get, or you know any smoke sessions that you get, it doesn't have repercussions. As long as you don't quit, and you don't commit a crime, it really doesn't matter. Nobody's ever gonna know, unless you happen to go to your unit with somebody, which I'm not saying you shouldn't give effort, but as long as you're not a, a turd and a bad soldier and a bad battle buddy, it doesn't, it doesn't have any repercussions. All you're gonna get is smoked or a counseling maybe, or you know, have to you know pull an extra fire guard duty. But in the grand scheme of things, nothing that's going to translate with you for the rest of your army career. Now I say this is controversial because yeah, if you get caught, you know, kissing a female or caught on the female floor or beating a drill sergeant or another soldier or attempting to beat a drill sergeant, uh, as long as you don't do something heinous like that and get yourself an Article 15 or a court martial. It doesn't matter. Uh, the worst thing that they can do is make you stand in the cold or smoke you or make you stay up late at night. But repercussions on your career wise and progression wise and growth wise, no repercussions. Just try hard. You're going to make mistakes and move on, keep moving, and you'll be, you know, looking back and laughing because, you know, you realize how insignificant any repercussions at basic training were. Reason number four that basic training does not matter is because you'll never see 99% of those people again. Uh, I can 
so your company is 180 people plus your drill sergeants, two to three per platoon, your first sergeant and your commander. So let's just say you have 200 people in that platoon. Well, since basic training, I went to AIT with three people that I went to basic training with. And then I was in the same company at AIT with one person that I went to basic training with. And then I'm at my unit with zero people that I went to basic training with. And I've seen zero of my drill sergeants or anybody from basic training since basic training. And I've been, that's been over a year ago. Yeah, you're never gonna see those people again. You might see one or two. I see people from AIT, but there are so many more people in AIT than your basic training. You're never gonna see them again. So you don't don't worry about what people think of you. Don't try to do something stupid because a battle buddy wants you to, or because you're trying to make friends. Yeah, make friends, rely on people, but realize you're never gonna see them again. It's it's pretty insignificant. Just use them and they'll use you to lean on each other and support each other. And you'll make friendships that will last a lifetime. Like you'll still talk to people, but people you don't wanna see, uh, you'll never see again. So. Uh, just keep your cool. There are going to be times when people you really can't stand are really frustrating you and don't make a rash decision like hitting them or, you know, doing something stupid because they're just getting on your last nerve. Just realize you're never going to see them again. You just going to have to make it through basic training the, the rest of the 10 weeks and you'll never see them again. It'll be okay. Keep moving. And that's why basic training is, does not matter. And last but not least, certainly not least, why basic training doesn't matter is because there's more to the military than basic training. There's more to the army than basic training. You need to realize that this is going to affect, you know, your future employment, what you want to do in the world. It's the big reason is it's the next at least four years of your life. You're going to be spending every day if you're going active duty. Um, living the life so you should research you know the army lifestyle what how your job affects future employment um, just what you're going to be doing on a daily basis how it's going to help you reach your future goals and not how to survive basic training yes that's important and you should have a baseline understanding of basic training be, get in shape realize a little bit about what they're going to ask you to do and a little bit of the knowledge but it's nothing to stress over because the army is so much bigger than basic training. It's so much different than basic training. AIT is so much different than basic training. The real army is so much different than AIT. So look at the bigger picture of things and real like so many people get caught up into how to survive basic training. You need to figure out how you're going to survive the army uh, and realize what you're getting yourself into and you know just realize that there's so much more than basic training. That's why I'm here, help you guys out with the big army, the big picture. I'm going to provide basic training tips and stuff like that, but realize there's so much more to life in general than basic training. All right, guys, that is the video. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you out. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to be making another Ask a Soldier video. I know it's been a minute since I've made that video, but make sure you leave your questions down in the comment section below. Come on over to my Instagram, at peebleson35. Link will be in the description. I answer all of my DMs over there. I had a guy FaceTime me the other day. Um, because he DM me on Instagram and just had to know about 35 Fox. So I will do that um, if that's what you want. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. Hope the video helped you out and I will see you in the next one.